Me and my wig. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Boobs, we're live. We Sorry. are live. Hey, How's it going, how, my friend? Good uh, to see you. I, I missed you. I haven't, I'm just uh, still here. <laughs> how you been? I've been so good. What have you been up to? <laughs> uh, just checking out games and trailers and stuff. You know, uh, classic E3. Classic E3. Yes. <laughs> E3 in it. We just had 30 different games shown off at the uh, Xbox press conference, which was pretty damn yep. impressive. And um, we picked our top three. And uh, I, people are asking what kind of cereal I had. I had cornflakes with uh, almonds, cashews, and uh, blueberries. And it wow. was delicious. I had yeah. Nintendo cereal. Did you have Nintendo uh, cereal? From 1987. I've kept it. Uh, I have a bowl <laughs> at least once every E3 when I'm at home for E3. So it's been, uh, I finally got to open it the last couple of years. It's been pretty stale. Yeah, that's uh, that sounds like uh, like extremely dangerous that you've done I, that. I, I didn't know there were green uh, marshmallows, but apparently <laughs> there are. We have yeah. uh, Finite Joy saying Chrono Trigger two today, boys. It's time. Uh, Wario says you can't say your favorite kind of cereal is breakfast cereal, like uh, like they're saying your favorite kind of cake is birthday cake. That's right. You have to be specific. I I actually get the fruit juice sweetened cornflakes. I try to stay away from processed fruit white juice sugar sweetened. yes i'm i'm a bit uh, f uh, okay. fanatical about that i don't like the word sugar in my foods so if they sweeten with honey or um fruit juice or dates or something like that i'm okay but uh so much breakfast cereal is so terrible for you um so i i go for this fruit juice stuff and then sprinkle in some uh some healthy walnuts and healthy uh cashews and some blueberries boom love it uh, Fruit Loops, okay. Alpha Cat, that's an example of one that is not good for your the human digestive system or the body. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Louis Arias pegged me as a Rice Krispies guy. I mean, I used to love those cereals when I was a kid, but yeah, I learned uh, you, you that stuff is not good to continue on as you uh, continue to age sure in is. this world. Sure yeah. it is, Victor. Yeah? Yep. All right, okay. Uh, Fedora Gent says 007, so we got a little Indiana Jones and James Bond in there couple of my faves it says reviews on the run is the greatest television show to ever be on air truth wow that's uh that's i knight thee that's <laughs> i knight that comment that's high compliment thank you very much <laughs> epn since 1997 here so finite joy has been watching since the very beginning so you have been to e3 with electric playground many 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 times in the past just like we have and uh this is the weirdest one but it's still fun yeah it's much it's better than fun. last year's though Last year's was really uneventful. Yeah. I don't remember anything from last year's E3. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> the game announcements, these, I can say for sure, the game announcements this year are way better than the game announcements from E3 last year. 100%. I mm -hmm. stick by my we got a long shot prediction. You guys can post your predictions right now in the chat. We got a long one from a uh, long shot one from Nintendo Boy 17, Sleeping Dogs 2. They are making the Sleeping Dogs movie, right? That's still happening. Are they? Yeah, are we they haven't still heard. making that? I think they are. There's something going on, but I don't think like Sleeping Dogs was a United Front Games title and it, yeah. it was built from that creative uh, you know, pool of talent there. I know Square Enix probably owns it, but I don't see them finding a dev that's going to pick that up and really honor the first one. The first one was really good. Unless so they good. did it with, you know, people that worked it uh, out of UFG here in Vancouver. Didn't That'd Sleeping Dogs come out of the true crime games? I don't think so. Like Maybe. They were, work they were working on the true crime streets of like Hong Kong or something like that. And there were like there was an Asian true crime game that they were working on that ended up getting scrapped. And I thought that's what became of Sleeping Dogs. Oh, yeah. But, okay. Yeah. As part something of like that. But, but not I, tied into true crime, though. Like, yeah, it's not a at separate all. thing. Yes. Um, yeah, but a great callback, man. That was a really terrific game. It would be cool to see that come back. Uh, THX7168. Vic should uh, get a sponsor from Magic Spoon. Healthy cereal that tastes too good to be true. <laughs> Dude, yeah. <laughs> food Have you had that, ma that Magic Spoon cereal? What is Magic Spoon? I it's don't like even heard it's of like it. It's like sugar-free, familiar, old-school cereals. Oh, really? Yeah. I gotta check that out. I've never even heard of that. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. I predict a Marvel game coming in this presser. Yes. Yep, yep. Oh, I can't mm -hmm. say anything. Okay, um, let's... Loki uh, game. Uh, Marvel will be in this presser, yes. Um, you got fun video games. There we go. Sleeping Dogs 2, that would be a dream come true on next gen if it happened. Daryl Kul uh, Kulenga. 
That's a great name. Okay, uh, what do we have here? We have ten minutes left, so I, we'll keep it on. We'll keep it on our two shot here for a little bit here. Okay. I predict Kingdom Hearts three point one point three point one four one five seven circumstance of pi. Very good, Matthew Winstone. <laughs> Um, Foobs, we have 10 minutes. Do you want to tell us, uh, you recap the whole story on where we are in Kingdom Hearts? Uh, well, Kingdom Hearts, you can buy the As the Story Is Now, which was the original first few Kingdom Hearts games, which I played through on the PS4. Yeah. Um, I hadn't actually finished the Kingdom Hearts game until I played the, uh, Catch Up Edition. Oh, yeah. And so, uh, that was, it was fun so, to play. So and t- I, tell, tell us uh, there's, what went there's, down. There's some epic keys. Uh, the key, the key blades, <laughs> Uh, there's a uh, Mickey Mouse and Goofy, <laughs> the horse. No Elmo, sadly. Um, we're still waiting for that callback. <laughs> I don't have tea coming out of my nose <laughs> again. Two days in a row, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, oh remember, man, there's a member of like Soras and keys and. Sword there's the an ears. amazing um, Mega sixty four video where um, uh, Rocco's running around trying to have the conversation about the story of Kingdom Hearts <laughs> with just passers-by on his street, and he's dressed as one of the Kingdom Hearts characters, <laughs> and he's just like, okay, but I got to tell you, uh, w- what do you think they're going to do? Is Mickey going to be okay? You know, he's just going so hard into it. It was amazing, and I, I always think about that <laughs> because the, I, I have no idea what's going on. in the. I like the games a hell of a lot. I always have a good time, but it, like I can't keep any of it straight. It's funny yeah. as hell. That's like if you ask me what happens in any Final Fantasy game. I'm like, yeah. I don't know. Something <laughs> bad happened to the world, and you either need to escape or go save it. And well, in, in Final Fantasy game. VII Remake, you fight a house. Mm-hmm. Did, did you fight a, the house? There's a train thing? in Final Fantasy six or four. Okay, where you fight a big train, but the house thing was pretty. Uh, down that train, by the way. Pretty fascinating. Six. That like it has saw blades and things like it was pretty. <sighs> What if we had a house that had all kinds of it's things like, that were dude, jabbing you and stuff? Bro, yeah. bro, <laughs> big enemies are cool, but listen to me. Hold on. <laughs> what if you bought a house? <laughs> like, what? I love it. <laughs> like, how big is this house? Are we talking like a cottage or a log cabin? I love it. I love it. It's awesome. Uh, Goku is here. Yo, Vic. Kingdom Hearts 1 is all that you need. None of the rest of it makes any sense, Finite Joy says. Okay, Finite Joy, you have the space of a chat window. Go ahead and recap Kingdom Hearts 1. (laughs) (laughs) And 180 characters or less. Bad stuff happens. You must save the planet. Taz fought the house last night. Trevor Leahy says, I am the house. <laughs> and Liam Neeson house. plays the house. I have a set of particular skills. I am the house. I love it. Uh, was in the original you. game too, though. True. Thanks, I've been a fan since the G4 days. Awesome, Daryl. Thanks for being here. Crafty Canuck, LOL, fighting a house. Bob Villa, <laughs> Bob Villa joins the party. Uh, okay, you guys can, uh, you, you still have a good seven minutes to predict. I'm going to put us into uh, the... Countdown mode? Yeah, I'm going to put uh, Foobs into a little window. So we're going to do that right now. So how did we do that before? That was this. Okay, Foobs is about to shrink. You're going to push out the window! <laughs> And Never. So we're gonna go boop, and then boop, boop and there boop. we go. So we're on the Square I'm on, Enix. I'm on a big window. I feel like we- I'm on a big window. Website until it goes live, and then we can go into full screen on that. And I'll make sure. I don't know if we have any audio or anything going on, so you can read a little bit of the, everybody chatting from around the world. This is pretty cool, though. Square Enix put up a DMCA friendly, so it won't get copyright flagged um, version of you the. You know screen. what that is? You know what that is? Smart well, thinking, thinking, right? Yeah. Jamie Andrews questioned, Jose, do you remember interviewing the guys that would dress up as Ezio and walk slowly through the streets of the city trying to be unnoticed in EP? Did you interview those guys? Did I? Didn't you I, do I remember I, I did. Uh, I was dressed up as Ezio. Yes. In Rome. In Rome. Where I, <laughs> I don't know if I can tell that story, but uh, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> what, what did you do? something i don't so even there, know about there was a sec there was one of the sections where we were exploring all of the areas from assassin's creed 2 yeah and we went we wound up at the baths of the diocletian okay and uh and so we tried to do this thing where i was pretending like i'm climbing up the walls like Ezio would oh no 
Except Cops. I'm down on my I'm I'm down on my knees. Oh no! <laughs> we're, just, we're just doing this, and I totally s- s- pulled a brick out of this ancient building. Oh no! I left it there. I left it there, oh. but that thing came out. Oh my! And God. I had the dust like on my Ezio jacket, <laughs> and okay. I was like, I'm gonna go through the airport, and they're gonna be like, Sir, we have a uh, we have reason to believe there's ancient uh, Roman dust on your jacket. We're gonna need to do a scrap test. And <laughs> this is a. Uh, this is about uh, seven, eight hundred years old. Where'd you oh get this dust? God. Okay, I like, got one oh. for you. It's also Rome based. Uh, I had all my camera gear taken from me in the Vatican. Uh, I was taking, I was shooting like a tourist was, and then I had the great idea of like, wait, why, why don't I just do a quick little reviews on the run, sort of, you know, on the fly kind of quick, because sh- yeah, I was playing Switch games and things on the road when we were going through uh, Italy a few years ago. And uh, so I set up my little tripod and tried to be as nonchalant as possible in the sort of Vatican garden. And a uh, security guard came right up and said, what are you doing? Did, did you uh, get approval to do this? And I went, no, but, you know, like everybody's shooting. I thought I could just shoot something real, real quick here. Took all my gear. I can still stay, <laughs> but I wasn't allowed to take any more pictures or any more photos of, or video of anything. And then I had to Noted. go and ask for it back. And they, they were very kind because they could have been very mad at me, but they were very kind. But um, yeah. And now that's going to be the, the story of uh, National Treasure 3 is going to be the story of how Victor escaped the Vatican. <laughs> well, reviews gear. on the run. It lives up to its name. We do shoot on the run and on the fly in lots of different places. That's why the show <laughs> has always had these interesting backgrounds. And I miss <laughs> shooting outside like crazy. I, I likely will never try to shoot in the Vatican again, but uh, probably it, not. It was a good story. I can't even remember yeah. the name of the game that we did then. Uh, are, are those uh, two the game squ- Square is showing? Are those? Oh, yeah. Oh, also and the featuring? List here, Life is Strange, yeah. And Marvel's Avengers. Yes, this is their list. And then they've got a world premiere from Eidos Montreal. Uh, could Square possibly announce a remake, a remaster of Legacy of Kane? I, I don't think so. I, I don't think that they're set up for that, you know? Yeah. They've done these huge deals. With the, well, like with this huge deal with Marvel. They've got Final Fantasy 16, which they've already teased. So maybe we're going to see a little bit more of that. Um, Life is Strange is turning out to be a really important franchise for them. So we're going to see a little bit more of that. Um, but I feel like they've, they've been so, you know, distant from the Kane stuff that it would be great. But I think they've got a whole bunch of new business right now. Yeah. And Deus Ex... I- I mean, we, we hear it from, uh, you know, they, they wouldn't do anything without uh, Elias Tefexis. What's his character's name again? Um, um, oh, yeah. Uh, He's played so many characters. I was like, I just Yeah, I know, but in, in Deus Ex, what, what's he play? I was, uh, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I didn't ask for this. I didn't. Um, Adam I didn't, Jensen. Um, Jensen, there it is. Yeah, they, Elias has gone out on record saying that they haven't asked him to come back and do anything. So I don't think anything is going on with Deus Ex. Um, I think we're going to see something different from Eidos Montreal. In fact, I know we are, uh, but I can't say anymore. <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> uh, something Final Fantasy VII related. <laughs> uh, maybe some Loki or WandaVision inspired DLC. That's a great idea, Matthew Winstone. I like where your head's at there. I, I do feel like there is a bit of a disconnect from what is current zeitgeist around Marvel in the stuff we're watching and enjoying and yeah. what is being made into games. I mean, there's some some synergy and some parallels. Like Marvel Avengers has like the MCU costumes and things like that. But yeah, there could be a little bit more. Could be a little bit more That's- for sure. That's what I was hoping uh, I would see out of the Xbox press conference was uh, a callback to something that I, I wasn't expecting. You know, like, yeah. a, a, what, they're bringing this back? Crazy. That, so hopefully maybe Square Enix can deliver something like that. Maybe like they're doing like, Crimson Skies. May, maybe. Someone's doing it. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully Nintendo the skies are with crimson the Crimson somewhere. Skies. We bought Crimson at, Skies. You know we want it. And here it is on the Switch Pro on Tuesday. That's my prediction. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you see how crimson that logo is right there. It's got a lot of crimson in it. So maybe that's uh, oh, foreshadowing yeah. of maybe. what's to come. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I really want something similar to Octopath Traveler. Well, we're getting that uh, Project Triangle game. Jack, Jack C. Um which is uh, what? What was the 
was it all brand new, the Project Triangle stuff, or was it a based on an uh, established Square Enix franchise? Do you no know? Idea. No. Don't know. No idea. All right, all right. let's go yeah. to full screen on that. Let's go, guys. We've got a couple minutes. We're going to blow you away with some mind-boggling releases and unveils and world premieres. Very nice. I'm live here from the studio in Essex, and we've got so many things to tell you about. At least about half an hour's worth. Let's go. How's the balance? Let me know how the audio is, guys. Project Triangle is new IP, right, Finite Joy, with an Octopath Traveler kind of aesthetic. I mean, they're starting to use that Octopath Traveler kind of vibe in other games. We even saw that in the um, Xbox stuff. Um, I don't I don't even know if Square Enix would say, here's Octopath Traveler 2, because that would sort of undercut what they're doing with Project Triangle. Octopath Traveler. Uh, yeah. Uh, Booster needs more love. New franchise for Project Triangle. Very cool, Jamie Andrews. Audio could be a little lower. Still, even right now, Nintendo Boy? The stream audio is a touch loud. Stream audio. It's maybe because we're talking really loud because the excitement level is about to explode. No, it's, right. it's not us that's loud. It's the uh, YouTube Oh, music. damn it. Your DMCA proof. Here, there we go. So Rhombus Path Traveler. <laughs> little lower, please. Very good, very good. So we sound okay? Foob sounds good in my ears. Always sounds good in my ears. Dragon Quest Three Remake is in the style of Octopath and and Ayudin Chronicles. Ayudin! Ayudin! Weedin, Weedian Chronicles. I don't know how to, how to say that, how to pronounce that. Okay, let us see what Square Enix has got in store for us. Deus Ex, Deus Ex, Deus Ex, Deus Ex! <laughs> Not gonna happen. Good now. I need a spin off Good of uh, Remaster. Everyone. It's Matt Mercer here, and I'm back as your host of Square Enix Presents. That's what Today we have a special E3 edition of the show for you with new game Who's announcements, updates, and exciting news from of, uh, our studios this presentation. across the globe. So let's kick off with the world premiere of a brand new game from IDOS Montreal. All right. We Randy you says you're great at impressions, boobs, and you really are. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I you're great at humility <laughs> as well, my friend. <laughs> I know. Randy, I know. <laughs> oh, snap. What are we starting off with? Idos Montreal. What are they working on? Yep. There it is. Oh, shizzle. Yep. Yep. Very, very interested to hear your Something thoughts on this. You. Like okay. Oh, oh yes, yeah, Star Lord. Actor, speaking of Star Lord, Thank speaking you, of Randy, what? No, Rocket. So how is Randy like in the, the chat board. and in this game? I'm going to uh, turn this up just a little bit here. So we got fined. We appear to be six thousand nine hundred and sixty-three units short. I know. We clearly need a plan. Is that okay? okay. Louis Arias. That's a funny Deus Ex trailer. If you see anything with claws yeah. the size of tracks, Guardians of the Deus Ex. I shot an interview with a couple of the, uh, the the team leads on this game, which I'll be posting soon. So stay tuned for that. So you knew about this? Monster, you tell me. I'll show you, monster. No, I am Groot. Although it could be Groot's a distraction. Elias to fix it. This is the DMCA uh, approved stream. So this is going to be li using licensed music in the game. That's incredibly important to these guys. So you're not hearing I'm a, I Need a Hero? Literally in your contract. I made no such commitments. In less than three cycles, all would be lost. The galaxy and not be Randy, you are the Star Lord. Together. No, it's not. They're not using the uh, movie actors for this. Is this coming out this year? I'll call you. 
Oh. Yes. Oh yes, there we go. Hi, my name is Olivier Prou, senior producer here at IDOS Montreal. For the past few years, we've had the privilege to work on our version of JBJ Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. JBJ disappointed by this. And oh, because there's no Dave Bautista. It's a single-player, story-driven, yeah. third-person action-adventure game. It's our own you only play a Star Lord, Guardian, which is an interesting. That's really unique to our game is that's that what we probably, got into I mean, in, the Quill, in the interview. As Star Lord, you're constantly in the middle of the action as you try Surprise, to. Surprise! It's not a three-player <laughs> co-op. But today, a three-player and a really, five-person. Really excited <laughs> to have all of you join us on this journey, and you'll hear more about the game from our team behind this project. All right, let's do this. I've always loved Marvel's cosmic characters. Uh, growing up as a kid, I read them, enjoyed them, loved them. I uh, had the opportunity to write for Marvel on some of their cosmic titles. I went back with the help of Bill Roseman, the editor, and kind of cherry-picked characters from Marvel's past. The opportunity here was to build a team, but to make it all underdogs, so that the reader would think, oh my gosh, how is this team going to survive? And that became the Guardians of the Galaxy comic, which we loved working on. I remember the first time that the Marvel crew came to Montreal, we were showing them the design of the characters, how they would look, and they stayed silent. I don't know if it's a minute, but in my head, it was a minute. I was like, oh my God, like they hate it. We realized how much that Marvel and Eros Montreal share and have in common, <laughs> and that we knew the Guardians were in perfect hands. Looking at the samples that Eros were kind enough to show me, I think he's fantastic, and absolutely in the spirit of what these characters are. What makes the gameplay experience unique to me is no matter in what phase of the game you are, whether you're in exploration or you're fighting, the Guardians Very are cool, constantly fine, around you and you never feel alone. While you're the leader, the Guardians will also challenge you and make decisions on their own and you will have to adapt to it. You are literally part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The decisions you'll make will have light-hearted to hunting repercussions, and the game will react to what you do and say. Come on, no killing teammates! Says who? It's literally in your contract! I made no such commitment. You are playing as Star-Lord, and you're using your blasters, and you're using your jet boots. Star-Lord is really empowering. He's very agile on the battlefield. He can slide and over with his jet boots. Of course, he has his elemental blasters that have different powers as well. And on top of all of this, he can use the unique abilities of his guardians. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes okay. for hire. Guardians okay. of the galaxy? What? No. <laughs> The story is about a group of misfits, the Guardians. In our world, they've been together for less than a year. They create Guardians the Guardians Guardians. on a small scale. <laughs> the Guardians. Insignificant. And as they progress through the story, they discover Very good. that Super they Bob. created something really big. So here's, here's my galaxy. thought on, on uh, you playing just as Star-Lord. And I get into it a little bit into in the... the um, a little and bit like uh, Mass Effect, that dude. Like I actually this, said in the interview, I, I want to coin the phrase "sass effect" because all of these the characters have sassy story. little bits that of dialogue. The but the uh, idea well is, is that this is a team that doesn't that work as a team until they are a team, them. and you need a leader, which is Star Lord. And I like the, this concept of so right they are stronger together, but they need to be molded and put into a direction. So I think it was a good move on. On so you can confirm the sequel is going to be multiplayer. I can't confirm anything. I accept that I know that's coming out. You can confirm it right now, Vic. It's not a matter of you say it right now, and it's well. I think what they've set up here is that they have an opportunity to, if it's successful, for people to play as other characters in in whatever comes next, if more comes next. But I like that we're going to actually get in the boots of Star Lord. But I feel like one of the issues with Guardians of the Galaxy because they are such a collection of really cool individual characters is that they kind of get lost as individuals because they're so good together. And um, it, I think it's going to be cool to be able to really get into control uh, Star-Lord, get to see what this character is capable of. Sam, I am 111. Heard Phil Lamar's voice in there. So this is all licensed, licensed music. Can I push X? When you're playing. <laughs> Where's my I, control? It did, it did look Where's right. Where's my control? It did look <laughs> like it. Can I push X right now? It says press X to start. <laughs> Starting. <laughs> Guys, I'm playing right now. We appear to be 6,963 <laughs> minutes short. We intend to watch this guy before I, I want to play it right now. No, we clearly. What did you say? Every game that's on screen. What? 
Oh, come on. You've been hoarding the doing. stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine zone was always... They just showed off Guardians of the Galaxy VR grid. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. Still showing. I will sacrifice your head. And take us to the majestic mountains of Kakarantara. Guys. I think we should... You're our group for once. I am Groot. You know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. Groot, are you really I offering to No, No, he is not offering that. Gotta play the whole game okay. like that. It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks they gonna have to... Small the game is obviously more based on the comics and the movies, thank cool, Galactus. Finite Joy says. Galactus. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not. I like Gamora's I voice in this. And, uh. Two votes each. Uh, Drax sounds like Bautista. Do your Groot well, again there, buddy? Definitely scary on uh, I am Groot! That's great. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> okay, we, uh, we I'm here all day. All right, let's do this. Let's this is square. <laughs> No, they have a um, they have a more North American driven production team at Square Enix Kung Fu Hot Dog, and this is made by uh, uh, Idos Montreal. Flying the wrong way. Yeah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one minor. The entire time I play this game, that's how the stream's gonna go. I am a brute. Brute. I am a brute. Miner's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, I like that they're giving us this game, uh, you know, quite a bit of time because it's coming up this All year and it's a total, you know, for most people, it's a total surprise. I think no uh, it, it had leaked a little bit and there was big speculation right? about this. But I don't think a lot of people were expecting Guardians of the Galaxy this year, and here it is. It's coming soon. Never seen anything like it. Show some gameplay. Show us some gameplay. I'm playing it right yep, now. Here we this go. Is me. This is me. Here we go. This is an interactive uh, experience. Just run. Um, Taz is asking for Elmo to do a little uh, uh, narration of what we're seeing. I'm good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> A good collab is the Cookie Monster Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> yeah. G is for Groot. You are welcome, Feeble One. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Don't fall. You can see a little bit of the, because uh, Idos Montreal worked on Avengers as well. You can see a little bit of the uh, Avengers templating and also Tomb Raider. Yeah. Which a lot is of great. sliding. Yeah. Everyone okay? Cyber 64 might cross over. Have gone to Mach 4. I don't I don't think I asked about that. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they'll have the characters uh, playable you know, and freaking half -world. Vic Kenobi. It's not alone. That slime's got the higher ground now. Watch out, <laughs> Star Lord. What are these things? They are amorphous vermin. You froze that slime. Very good. Very good. In this game, you fight giant colored cubes. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mike. Mike Druid Schmidt, good to see you. It's great to see everybody. Thanks for joining us on, uh, you know, on this trek through all of this content. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Is it stuttering? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an He's arrow with the word not fortress stuttering. on it, but Stutter. statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement... The I've got a pretty high bandwidth outside. going on, or like a, a pretty high compression going on the stream, so it might be taxing the internet here. It's a retractable bridge. They use them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. What do you not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me 
I don't know Battle Cry. I, I mean, it's a single player action adventure game, and I think you're going to be unlocking a lot of the stuff within the game. I gotta, it's gonna have a Tomb Raider esque feel to it, I feel. Yeah. I'm sure there will be cosmetic this things. This looks great to me, man. I am very fired up for this. This looks like a blast. Imagine if Lara Croft was surrounded by a team. Yeah. That was happened to be the Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, dude. Can get behind that. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. I, I was just checking out Jedi Fallen Order. I was uh, talking about that in, on the last stream yesterday. And God, that game is excellent. It's just so cool that you zip from planet to planet and you get like a Metroid experience throughout the whole stuff. So that's a great base for what we're going to experience in, in this kind of, of game. You know, like we're going to fly around and go on different missions and be chased and hunted. I hope it's awesome. But with a team. But with a team, yeah. With Let's a, go. Sass effect. Sass effect. And you could give orders to the different characters, right? Like you're telling them to. You're, you're doing co op strikes and things like that, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So they. I mean, you, you don't control them directly, but you control them as a leader. Battle Cry 78 looks great to me, looks great to me too. And then music's a huge part of it. The, these will be licensed tracks. He's your Walkman. Yeah. To unleash holy hell. And sweet dance moves. Sam, I am 111. Tomb Raider reboot. Lara was surrounded by a team. They got separated. Yeah. I think, you know, and Uncharted is like that as well. Like, it, it just makes a lot of sense narratively to have two characters bouncing off of each other or on radio, chattering to each other to kind of explain what the characters are going through. And in this case, they're all going to be together, which is, that is pretty cool. Definitely my top ten and imagine the freedom and the design that these guys had. Peter? They must have had a blast. Aren't you forgetting something? Mirror Yoku 7, it does look pretty freaking oh, awesome, doesn't right. it? I'm fired up, man. You guys know I love superhero games. I'm, I'm totally excited for this. I mean, look at those, that rain effect. All right, rock it. Rain on leather. Yeah. I only got one Nailed. face quote. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him! You better have one hell of a sales pitch. You have some, you know, RPG-style choices. Right. We should try selling Groot instead. What? Really? This is an affront is that gonna make for, like, split pass, multiple yep. endings? Mm -hmm. for this one. Okay, and okay. team alliances gonna... as well. Yeah, we that. noticed. Yeah, like... Is the whole team gonna be together the entire time? Are we splitting up? How's it gonna work? I don't know. Things man. I wanna know. Well, we're, I, I wanna know when I play. I don't wanna know everything. Scott Michael Hedge would like to Square Enix to move on, but this is what's cool about this particular game is that it's it's a surprise to most, and it's coming soon. Yeah, we're a few months away, and it's not like Square Enix has 30 games to show. No. Remember, showcase buddy, showcase your gifts. Like me, only uh, bigger. I agree. Unless they completely Not throw me for a loop. <laughs> We're going to show you 30 games coming. Like, holy crap. I mean, De the Deus Ex games, the two that Square Enix made, are two Easy terrific games God. that are incredibly ambitious so, and loaded with awesome storytelling and great content. Thing. But they do not have the fortress. wide, mass appeal to show off the talent of this studio. This has a built-in brand name recognition, and they're going to show off what I, what Eidos Montreal is capable of. Yeah. And they've also, you know, they really did a great job with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It was it was a really really good game. So I feel like um, this is an, a really uh, you know it's a great IP to kind of take the take the company forward. I just hope it all comes together, coalesces, and it is satisfying all the way through. Yeah. It looks like a blast. Looks fun. Who's the big I hope boss? we get a taste of Star Lord's, you know, true power in the game. Though I hope it's not just blasting and jet boots. How many times do I have to kill you? 
I think they have a lot more freedom than the uh, Avengers game does uh, VR Grid, which is a little ironic. Richard S. checked out. Anti-superhero. Or anti-guardians <laughs> right now. The music, KFXG, I don't know how much of this is actually in the game. I guess probably a lot of it is this, this scored orchestral stuff, but they're going to have a lot of famous tracks. We're, we're watching the DMCA um, safe stream from Square Enix. So this is a lot of licensed music. Uh, you know, unlicensed music, but bought, you know, paid for music that is safe to stream. Throwback Guardian outfits. Now we're going nice. to revisit two There's iconic a soundtrack. games that are being so remastered you know. for modern platforms. First up, relive the classic games in the Final Fantasy I like not series. having to mute and anything. Then this one is more great. Peek at Legend of Mana ahead of its June 24th launch. Here we go. <laughs> Boeing game happened during Xbox. Great, Taz. Okay, here we go. Taking it back. Pixel remasters. The first Final Fantasy? Six tales of epic adventure. All the old classic 2D games. Six masterpieces to bring... The first the six Final Fantasy games? Are they doing all six? Wow. Are That's they redoing them? What are they doing? Final Fantasy 1, Steam 2, and 3, mobile. 4, 5, and okay. 6. Okay. Pixel Steam and Oh, so they're all pixelated and they're remastered for modern screens. Okay, that's cool. Okay. What's this one? A Legend of Mana. Yep. Final Fantasy VI, the best. Yes. Legend of Mana. Good call, man. Very soon. You said it at the beginning. Ah. <laughs> they said it. Uh, well, good reading. Up next, <laughs> Earth's mightiest heroes continue their fight to defend the world in Marvel's Avengers. Let's see what Team they got now. Dynamics I like the look of that art. The latest updates with Wouldn't mind an Avengers game that looks like that. And a growing roster of heroes. Okay, what you got for us? You want a Mad Men uh, intro style Avengers, Avengers game? Sure. That super for sure. At all costs. Don't care about new costumes. And I don't want to kill any more damn robots. <laughs> Scientist Supreme is creating the ultimate weapon. Okay. More Spider Man. Oh, they took all the music the off. All the music is out of this. The world doesn't need a vengeance. Aim will save this world. I will save it. Thank you for doing this, Square Enix. No end. These crumbs. You don't understand what that cube is. I mean, this is just looks of. like everything that we've seen so far. Okay, that's very soon, though. That's June, summer, and beyond. Let's see. Okay, wasteland for more cubes. Stop the coming apocalypse. No more robots. The war for Wakanda. Oh, come, come on, on. No, more, no more robots. Of course. There's got to be robots, Victor. Oh, my God. Randomized, replayable boss fights. There's Taskmaster again. <laughs> All right. Wakanda. Let's see what we got here. Let's see a little Black Panther. Is this the first real video game? I guess the Black Panther's been in the Lego games, but is this the first real Black Panther? I applaud your efforts to connect. 3D Blair will no. But like as a man high res, kick ass Black Panther in a game. Four, I must warn you of a few Wakanda looks great. Many eyes I'd go there. Path. Yep. You are about Once to travel opens back up, if it's not under quarantine, so they're in a bubble, so yeah, they're safe. They're fine. They probably had the uh, vaccine like a month later. Be honest. You just wanted to show off this suit. And there's, is that Shuri? That looks amazing. Yes. It is claw. You oh, can now guy. fight robots with this, the black. Who is this guy? <laughs> He's that guy. Oh, he was the uh, Andy Circus guy. Yeah, was he? Is that the same yeah, guy? I think he was. Yeah.
robots. <laughs> Vibranium doesn't belong to you. You are right. Vibranium does not belong to me. It belongs to Wakanda. Okay. Big robot. Yeah. I like the logo. Black Panther. <laughs> Wakanda in disguise. Very Transformers. I'm in for that. Claw. What was was that Steve Bloom as Claw? He should get his own game now too. Yeah, Black Panther should have his own game. Here we go, guys. Everybody's fired up for mobile games. Our intelligence reports a new threat to global stability. Their reach Mobile. is like anything we have seen before. Following Agent 47's disappearance, Agent you 47 were because of your mobile experience. Skills. Hmm. Execution must be perfect. We will strike from the shadows. Interesting. And they will never know. Interesting. Okay. All right. What is this, near? Near on mobile? All prayers lead to the cage. Yeah. Okay. Okay, no music there. Once again, the Warrior of Light returns to Ardra. Sure. Mobile makes these companies so much freaking money. Yeah. F Final Fantasy, I mean, War of the Visions. Well, they said all six are coming to Steam and mobile, right? Yeah, what is this? This is a new... War of the Vision. New okay. Thing. Limited collaboration between something Visions and Final Fantasy. Okay. So all of these reveals on the regular stream would have copyright flagged the crap out of my uh, channel. <laughs> so <laughs> they, they took they took all the music out. So appreciate that, Square Enix. Okay. Reincarnation near. Very clever VR grid. Good, good catch there. Now what is this? Battle Royale Final Fantasy? I think it is. An Android? Final Fantasy Mobile. 7. Mobile. Was that a, like a Battle Royale Final Fantasy game? I hope not. For mobile, that's a weird Today, pull, but maybe. Final, Final Fantasy 7 Battle Royale, I heard it's fun. Look at the epic huh. world of Babylon's Fall. Featuring okay. fluid combat, okay, nice. powerful weapons, and a unique art style. Pretty, pretty graphics. Ooh. Pretty things. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. right. They teased this. Platinum's teased this before. Platinums? You have my attention, oh, sir. Yes, Over yes a Platinum. Thousand years, <laughs> it was meant Engage. to be a no. tower of dreams. But In a, a watercolored world, it was seen designed by Platinum Games. Games. Only for mobile devices. No! <laughs> give me console stuff or give me peace. Persevering through fire and ice. It's gonna be like that uh, epic mobile game. Eventually, the tower became a symbol of This isn't another mobile ambition. game, is it? I don't know. Uh, if it is, that if it is, is I need to upgrade my phone. Stat. <laughs> <laughs> Babylon's fall. <laughs> oh, this was in the coming in this presentation. Does the savior of the new Babylon game. stand among us? Wow. Let's find out without further ado. Exclusively for the Nokia Engage. Okay, this is Left 4 Dead from Platinum. <laughs> 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 this is what Platinum does with the Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead, uh, Bayonetta. Okay. Die, okay. Then I'll die the combat's hope, gonna be awesome. For what little hope there may be. Lots of bloodshed. We've got archers, blue and blood. magic users, and warriors with giant hammers. The sequel to Gauntlet. The sequel to Gauntlet. You didn't know you needed. This has music and voice, but no sound effects. The sound effects we're apparently all were. Prisoners of our subjective <laughs> DMCA. <laughs> we use those sound effects in other games, so we can't. Just <laughs> yeah. cut those out. Believe only what you see, 
and you like to end up seeing what you believe. I mean, this doesn't look state of the art, but it looks like fun. Yeah. I don't know if there's like major compression happening, but um, it looks like it's going to be a ridiculous amount of fun to play that game. Very fast paced. This does look like fast Platinum makes game. Gauntlet, doesn't it, right. Nintendo Boy 17? Right. Good call on that, Foops. Ascend to the heaven above the Make tower so. of fall. Oh, it's good. Like this one now before you. This is 2022. Now begins its tale of both oh. hope and despair. Oh, okay. Gonna say PS4 what? and Steam. Oh, PS5, PS5. version. Okay. I was gonna okay. say PS4. All right. What? Oh, and here we go. We're gonna find out a little bit right now. February 2017. Can you guys read that? Yeah. Okay. When it comes to, uh, I've been in that room. I've been there. Platinum is insane. <laughs> Such a cool facility. Remember when we used to, we used to go places? Yeah. That was actually the last trip I went on. The last development trip was was to Japan in 2019. Game follows the style of traditional hack and slash. One key factor is that the battle actually becomes the trigger to activate skills and draw out your strongest powers. Gideon Cop on the player's back is a pretty important key item. A key item. Gideon Cop. They would change how you play as well as the direction of customization. I was told to be mindful of the high fantasy atmosphere to ensure the design is still polished and sophisticated. These guys are freaking masters. I'm a fan of Yasuke wearing the uh, scotch and soda hoodie. Yeah. It's like, it's rage, guys. I got my scotch and soda hoodie on. <laughs> Trying to get ham tanned after this presentation's over. Long form. 2022. Yeah. That's cool. I like that they're shooting now developer interviews. Let us know who these people entry are. In the popular Life is Strange series. Okay, True cool. Colors. The team I love this series. The team is to give you a deeper look at Alex Chen's Life is Strange. Power of yeah. Empathy. But first, here's a look at the I Life is Strange the first remastered great. collection. I, I played a little of the first one. The second one is terrific. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. The music is so good in this franchise. What do you remember about us as Where kids? is the new Mario game, Finite I Joy? I about us as little pirates <laughs> running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. We are awesome! Are they just remastering the first game? I guess so. Yeah, they are. Whoa, that's some pretty good improvement, though. Come on, let's dance! Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> now with 100% more Ray Tracer. That's Rachel Amber. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. <laughs> oh, good. You're here. Rachel it, saved my life. Was this the very first she one? She was my angel. Yeah. Okay. Something happened to her. We have to find her, Max. And then there was the side story one, too, right? Holy shit. Yeah. What was that one called? Max, what's going on? Um. No. Life is Strange comics are super popular now. I gotta I check those out, Fine Joy. Time. Yeah, no, there's a huge fan base for Life is Strange. What the yeah. hell is this? Max, help! It's, it's like a teenager franchise, right? Like Whatever's it's, uh, going on between us is you special. know, emotionally Step powerful, connected. Uh, Get in, man! Yeah, so, it, cool it story gets time. dark, man. It takes some turns. I, I know. Choice and the power to change everything. Chloe. Arcadia Bay is Chloe. on the edge of oh, Ryan's Angel. These are time great games. They're very time. cool. Whatever happens, I'll always have your back. Always. So do you get this if you've already picked it up? If you already own it? Do you get Probably. the remastered thing or do you have to buy it again? Probably. Hi, I'm Maya, also known as MXM Tune. 
I'm a musician and the singing voice of Alex Chen in the upcoming Life is Strange True Colors. I hope you enjoyed that first look at official gameplay from the remastered collection. As a longtime fan, I know I did. You can see the love and care that Deck Nine have put into remastering both Life is Strange and Before the Storm. Can we talk about her vinyl collection? Features Impressive. Improved character animation, What's that? Lip -sync, so can we talk about her vinyl collection? Impressive. Yeah. Into these two <laughs> beloved games. Back in March, we also revealed the next major game in the series, Life is Strange True Colors, a small town supernatural mystery. Cool. Alex Chen mm -hmm. must uncover the truth behind her brother's death using her psychic power of empathy the, the to unravel the shocking secrets cool. of Haven's so this, this is this year as well? Today, we have a first look at know. Alex's unique power say? in action. I don't Here's know. Game She's got psychic Zachary powers, Zachary though. I see your true <laughs> I was, colors. I was just going to go there. That's why I love you. To the story of life is strange. Bam! Taken down. <laughs> <laughs> every relationship she builds and every decision she makes. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. For years, Alex has been unable. To Guardians did nail the writing, didn't they? CR three D. The fear. It's like a next gen Telltale. And anger of those around her. Yes. Her to yeah. believe her power is a, a more curse. interactive Telltale yes. game. Yes. Yes. One hundred percent. Alex realizes the only way she can find the truth. Yeah, I think I, I find these to power. be more enveloping. Like you, you I really get lost in happening. the characters and the world building. And the only way to understand. Is to feel what he's YouTube feeling. death flag has been raised. You get the your videos get stricken down <laughs> for even thinking of a <laughs> song <laughs> that has copyright <laughs> relationships <laughs> the folk of Haven Springs. As well the as final stream of EPN Channel. She sees dead people, March of the Penguin says. You're gonna lose her, and it's all your fault. So she can read minds. Alex has uncovered a secret that Mac wants to keep hidden from his life. I always see people in movies and TV shows that, and that are terrified have that like uh, both eyes bruised and black eyes, and they're She's totally the beat up, and nobody says ever anything. Ever it's like you need to go to the hospital, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your face out. is damaged. You you need like, some you help. Should've, you should have you should have seen him yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. So are we still together? Are you serious? I need to get back to work. Sure, it's all good, to Orion's to Angel. Away. We'll get out of your way. Every age is is welcome here. One person should not have the power to uh, end a whole town. To just saying, Cyber 64. Yes, <laughs> true. This generates a nova, a supernatural flare that transforms the world around Alex into a reflection of that person's psyche. Oh, cool. In this altered, emotionally charged state, Alex can experience fragments of thoughts and mm. memories to get to the root of their issue. Oh, that sounds like a horrible superpower. But not every emotional crisis yeah. can be easily empathy. dealt with. Empathy. Super Some empathy. Dangerous, even mm. life-threatening amount of power. How do you, how do you contain your own emotions when you can feel everything that everybody else is? No decision is easy, and the consequences will be felt across the game. This anger could kill her. What if I could just look at that freaky art that she's making? Away. Good God! Yeah, using Alex's powers the only way you can uncover the and truth. And she went on to kill everyone death. around her. <laughs> what would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, what would you do? Should I? What decisions do you make? It's Jean Grey, the game. Very good, VR Grey. They all kind of do have superpowers in Life is Strange, don't they? They are kind of X Men. E. Alex's powers look so awesome. I have no idea how I'll make some of these choices, but I can't wait to play it with you all when it comes out on September 10th. She's very good. Don't and forget, she just you is the singer. Life is Strange she should be acting. Now. She's very good. And if you choose Not the ultimate just the edition, singer, but... you'll also receive the Life is Strange remastered She just does things with music. And that's it for today. Make sure to follow the Life is now Strange and social channels for more. Costumes? She's so confident and calm. I liked her a lot. She was great. MXM Tunes! Is that it for the stream? No. Okay. I was like, is that it? Is it I don't yeah. know, this seems very Zoomer. Not sure I can relate now, here. Gameplay is really addictive, CR3D. From Square Enix, Japan. You could play as a boy, Lavender, in uh, Life is Strange 2. 
Haven't played these games yet, but they look really good. They are super cool. I was really taken aback by Life is Strange 2. Got super addicted. I'm here to kill chaos. That's my mission. Okay, Tetsuro Nomura. What is this? This is, uh... <clears throat> Looks is this like chaos Ninja has been waiting for us. What is this? Nick is going there and find you? What? Shut your face. Guess we'll just show ourselves in. It's Ninja Gaiden. I only know one thing. Uh, Left for Dead. Chaos. Ninja, Ninja for Gaiden. <laughs> it's not a hope. For or a Gaiden dream. Souls. It's like a hunger. Thirst. Team Ninja. You're dust. Okay. It, is it a co op Souls like? You sure Chaos no. is here? I'm team Ninja? Yeah, they can only squash monsters for so long. I hate doing pest control. This is the Shrine of Chaos. He's here. We just have to hunt him down. Feel the pain. Kind of oh. murky visually, but I'm sure it's tight. The darkness is so thick. I ninja can for Gaiden. I have to get the, uh, the Ninja Gaiden no collection. Doubt. I want to stream Gaiden. some of that. Oh yeah, you can put yourself through that torture. There was a night. Oh, Play it on hard. Is it hard? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all. It's all good. Turned. Play it on easy. Gone. Yeah. I, I did I get past uh, Ninja Gaiden Black. I did get... Uh, I don't know if I quite finished the game, but I did get deep into the game. And I, I was shocked that I did. I think I did finish that game. I'll crush you! No when you're beaten! Okay. And who are you? This Giant Sword. kill chaos. The prophecy's very own Warriors of Light. Three. He always wore such splendid armor with a helmet that was terrifying to behold. Yep. It's Garland. No. Ninja guided. Become chaos. Darkness. I don't know. <clears throat> Stranger of Paradise. Final oh, Fantasy. Fantasy Origin. Wow. From Team Ninja. I I didn't see it as a Final Fantasy game no, at all. No, me neither. That was, that was the last title I expected to wow. see at the end of okay. it. Okay, demo available soon. So that comes out in 2022. I'll leave you with a look at some of the amazing Square Enix titles you can play now, as well as those to come. That was very interesting, that one. Okay. To be the bearer of bad news, but... Just hit me with it. I'm gonna drop plate this is stunning. They're this gonna is Final Integrate, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, this is a really cool... This is the game I want to play right now, actually. Outriders, I finished it. Did you like Outriders? We talked a yeah. bit about that. Yeah. I, I was, but I, I was only played flat. single player. I didn't play it... Yeah, I only played it single player, and so I wasn't really impressed. Teasers. I hope that Black Panther blows us away. I really do. Oh, yeah, this Forspoken game. Yeah, Forspoken. There this we go. looks dope. We have a ways to wait for that. Final Fantasy 16. Nothing. They just had a Square Enix Presents, right? Not too long ago. So they've, they've shown off a bunch of these things. The Guardian's Reveal is a big one. It's one of the biggest ones so far of E3. Thank you for joining us today. Keep an eye out for news about our next Square Enix Presents. I'm Matt Mercer. That's it. See you next time. That's it. Okay, let me... Uh... Let me mute this, boop, and uh, we'll go full screen on this, mm. boop, and um, uh, where are we? There we go. Boom. Thoughts, my friend. Interesting. Yeah. You know, I mean, going into Square, like Square Enix isn't somebody I always think of as having their their own event around e3 usually i'm so used to you know the ubisofts and the nintendos and the or the sony's and the microsoft's yeah and the ea's and uh but square enix i mean I, i'm surprised that there wasn't like more dragon quest stuff or you know they, like something they've done a little bit of that though that that was like their spring event like yeah. very recently they were showing off a bunch of these things so this is kind of like a it's a, and i think it's kind of what ubisoft forward did yesterday too where they've teased stuff and we know things are coming and they don't want to hit st stuff again. Like there was no skull and, and bones. There was no, yeah. uh, I mean, is there Prince ever going to be skull? I, yeah, I don't know. There was no beyond good and evil too. Um, 
and with this one, I think this was really primarily about Life is Strange and and Guardians, uh, and Guardians yeah. yeah, and a little tease for this uh, Team Ninja Final Fantasy experience, which is, looks like a hack and slash cooperative. Uh, it looks like three player though, right? Not four player. It's not a Left yeah. for Dead thing. It's like a <laughs> Destiny uh, Souls fusion from Team Ninja. Yeah, um, which could be great. I mean, let's let's face it, that could be really great. Um, what I mean, I, I think it really comes down to Guardians. Like, how hyped are you for Guardians? Yeah, I mean, that was the hypest thing. It sucks that they started off with that. I feel like ending with that would yeah. be great. Yeah, you know, starting it off, you're just like, holy crap! Okay, Guardians, here we yeah. go. Where are you gonna go from here? And then it's just like all six Final Fantasy games coming to like the mobile pixel perfect remaster or whatever. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right, that's cool. I mean. Uh, yeah, again though, it's 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 a tough sell. It's a tough sell. Like obviously the this new whatever Team Ninja thing is, you're like, okay, wait, Final Fantasy Origins. Yeah. Thing? yeah. Okay, if that's the the way you want to go, keep it in that franchise instead of calling it something different and just making it something new. I don't know why they have to keep it in the Final Fantasy world. I feel like it's kind of weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Life is Strange and Guardians things are probably the biggest two things of that presser. Everything else, I'm just like, it's cool that it's there. Uh, some of it's not for me. Some of it will be like, all right, that Forspoken game, or I think it was, yeah, it was yeah. in the team. That, and that we saw in the last thing that they did. So we, we have to wait for that. Oh, you froze on me. That's interesting free, uh, frozen shot. I, I, I would have loved to see that. I like that. But uh, yeah. Am I still there? Can you hear me now? Oh, my connection's unstable. What does that mean? I, 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 I what, don't know. I see you now. You're back. <laughs> You're fine. Still, okay. We, we've been <laughs> using a lot of internet. <laughs> like the world. <laughs> like the world is. Uh, <laughs> yes. I, I was in a, uh, uh, the press conference for Loki and uh, um. Uh, Owen Wilson got dropped in the middle of his internet, but he he was <laughs> paying be attention. It's going fantastic, man. Oh, man. Yeah, well, he was like this. <laughs> and it looked like he was just listening to the person that was talking to him and kind of supporting them with a big smile and, you know, like one of the other co-stars. But then it was it was like that for five minutes. <laughs> just, it was just one of these little boxes. <laughs> he was just so happy. A little All right. All right. Yeah. yeah, it was great. Um, he got DMCA'd. Uh, what would you give this press conference? I guess it all kind of comes down to how much you want. I, I, I do have to say, like, I saw the Guardians uh, uh, reveal a, a few days ago, and it had all the licensed okay. music, and and it it makes a difference. You know, even if you've heard those songs before a million times, and it feels so especially after what James Gunn has done with the soundtracks for the Guardians movies, it feels so calculated that they're riffing on that. It does yeah. make a difference to hear, you know, the blast of the 70s music on on, uh, on Peter Quinn's uh, uh, Walkman, and it just ties into the what we know of Guardians so well. Sure. I, I, you know, I adore superhero video games, and I liked a As lot of I. what Avengers was doing, um, I do want to take a break from the repetition, and I really hope that uh, Black Panther is that break. Um, cool. But I am really excited about this Guardians of the Galaxy game. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. As am I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you give the score of the the conference itself? Probably say like six. I'm feeling a six. Just six. If yeah, six. Yeah, because yeah. Guardians is up there. Life yeah. is strange. It's cool. I mean, I'll probably play it just to experience it. Everything I else, I just feel like. That's way too low. I think that's way too low. You can think it. It's my I, score. Especially, I mean, we're, we're comparing. I Ubisoft to four. I feel like it was definitely better than that. Yeah, it was better than Ubisoft for sure. But I also feel like we're comparing Square Enix to what Xbox just did. You know? I mean, we just saw it. I know. I just saw it. But this is a. Publisher. Which I gave an eight to. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're comparable though. I think we got to have like a publisher score. They are too, Vic. And, People and are. Hardware... Remember we used to do that. At, remember we used to do that at E3. Compared to this, what do you give this? Yeah. Compared to this, what do you give yeah. this? This is a presentation at E3. I think it was a good one. I do. I I feel like they undercut themselves by having a previous um, presents event. That's the thing showing... too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I think it's at mm -hmm. least. I think it's at least again a seven and a half. I do. Okay. I think I think it is. I think the Guardians presentation was cool. I think the uh, 
uh, you know, the the connection to their their previous games. I, I wanted feel... more slimy blue things. That's what Pardon I want. Me? I wanted more slimy blue things. Yes. My Dragon Quest little blobs. Yeah, That's for sure. And they showed off a bunch of those in the, in the previous one. I do. Feel... Slime Rancher too. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like uh, the mobile stuff. They need to show it off because it makes them so much money. But I almost feel like there needs to be like a mobile E3, you know. And in a conference like this, yeah, there should be some kind of say, like, we've got a lot of mobile games coming up. Check out our special event tied mm-hmm. around our mobile titles. And you can even parse it out a little bit with esports and stuff. Because sometimes all of these images and messages get a little bit conflated into the what the whole sort of... Um, success or failure of these conferences is yeah and i think it's cool that they are finding new audiences for established games and new ways to you know like that near mobile experience looks like it's kind of cool you know i think yeah. it's I just, uh, there was a lot of mobile and i'm just there like, was a lot of mobile i just I just, yeah. I just can't bring myself to get excited about mobile in a presentation when there's so much other stuff you're like okay yeah. babylon but let's let's check this out let's see yes. more of this stuff so it really comes down to true uh, colors Mm-hmm. The Final Fantasy Team Ninja game and yeah. Guardians. Maybe that Babylon's Fall game also. And and the Platinum game. Yeah, seven point yeah. five for me for sure. I mean, okay. I'm I'm psyched for all four of those games. Okay. So I'm seven point five. What do you guys say? Yeah. Five at best from James Henderson. Seven out of ten from uh, Kung Fu Hot Dog. Eight out of ten for me. And all I need is Marvel and Final Fantasy. And you got that. You sure there did. It is. Um, what music was used, Vague Zone Podcast? I can't remember. They're 70s and 80s hits. I, I think I Need a Hero is one of them, actually. Yeah. Uh, and it, <laughs> did you know that? Me? Or, or are you just guessing? Who, me? Yeah, because you said no, it. I, yeah, no, I was I was listening to it. Oh, you were listening to the non-DMA streamed? Yeah. yeah. Yes, because you had to lose. Yes, I was right. listening yeah. to the real stream, Vic. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> DMCA okay. trash. Yeah. yeah I had to search tunes. for it. 5 out of 10 from Louis Arias, 6.5 from Hip Hop Dan. So we're running the gamut from about 6 to uh, 8. A lot of 6s. Six, uh, 6 from That's Cyber 64. Score. 4 out of 10, and that is being generous from Richard S. Did not like anything in there. Miro Yoku, uh, 7, gives it a 5.5. Um, oh, Blair uh, Blair Farrell says highlight of E3 so far. 5 out of 10 from Michael uh, Chambers. Uh, uh the man that's that he-man trailer i need a hero and that was also an i need a, in the he-man trailer that's true i need a hero making yeah. lots of bank who who is that is that bonnie tyler or something maybe i think I so need a hero. well they're, they're making a hey, copyright flag Here we go. Stream, watch man. it bonnie uh meh was pretty weak for me decent games but the presentation was lacking for sure coming off microsoft this felt yeah that's the challenge right you come off of a hardware manufacturer it's going to feel thin compared to that for sure Eight because of Babylon's Fall from uh, Corey Nolan. Screw it. I'm giving it a six. I am Groots out of 10 from JBJ. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Russell, 6.5. Bonnie Tyler, uh, I was correct. So I get a uh, nine out of 10 for that. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, that's going to do it for our streaming today. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a little recap rundown, sort of talking about all kinds of stuff. And then if Foobs, if you're available for Nintendo, I'd love to connect with you on Tuesday and do, do this uh, all again. It should be. It depends on how, how, if I finish Ration Clank tonight. Okay. All right. There's you, the, the mission, should you choose to accept it, is finish be able Ratchet and Clank. I should be around. It's, it's COVID outside, man. I can't. It's not even cold. It's not hot. It's COVID outside. <laughs> I can't go out there. Uh, well, we uh, there's lots of little things happening and cooking. Lots of streams to look out for. Um, check out the Summer Game Fest page and the E3 Expo page. Um, but I think that's good for the streaming. And we'll come back with some new content uh, tomorrow. Is What day is it? It's sun- When you work all weekend, Sunday. it's like. So it's Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, tomorrow. I'll be back with uh, some new content tomorrow. Uh, It'll be a fresh rundown. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you soon. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button and that little bell to be notified. Thank you for becoming an EPN member. Thank you for your support. We'll see you soon. Until then, play forever.